first testimony that I want to share with you happened um, about a year and a half ago. A woman named Bariti Yorka, she came here in March of 2013, and she had a very severe problem. She had been married to her husband for a very long time, and they were not able to have a child. For 10 good years, she was not able to conceive. No matter what they tried, they went to doctor after doctor, and yet they had no solution. It got so bad that the doctor suggested that she try IVF, which is in vitro fertilization, where they take the egg and the sperm and they put them together and they implant it. But when they went to go do this procedure that costs $20,000 for one time, and if they make a mistake, you lose $20,000 and you still have no baby. When they went to go look for her eggs, the doctor went in, he said, you have no eggs. There's nothing inside of you, nothing there. It is impossible for you to have a child. You will never conceive. You can go ahead and get used to it now. You might want to look into adoption. You might want to look into other options because you have no eggs and it is impossible for you to conceive a child. But this woman, she was not satisfied with this answer because she believed that God would give her a child. So she came here in March of 2013. And as she stood in this prayer line, she, she was being prayed for. And she received a mighty deliverance, something that stuck with her. And she knew she had received a seed planted inside of her heart. Four months later, in July of last year, she was privileged to receive some anointing water from her sister-in-law who had gone to the synagogue church of all nations. So they brought it back and she and her husband sat down and they decided, this is our time. We have received our deliverance, we are free, and this is our time to, to have a baby. Though doctors may say, and she has medical report after medical report to prove that there were no eggs inside of her, they decided that though I may not have eggs, I know that my God will give us a baby. They administered the anointing water, and within weeks, she became pregnant. Amen? Let's put our hands together for Jesus. What's even more encouraging is just last month, on April 11th, this woman, Miss Bariti Yorka, gave birth to a wonderful, bouncing baby boy. Amen? His name is Emmanuel. What does this mean? What am I telling you? I'm telling you his name is Emmanuel because God is with us. Hallelujah. For 10 years, she could not have a baby. It was impossible. And I want to tell you that we serve a God who is the God of the impossible, who can take your situation, a hopeless situation, and bring you hope and give you a bright future. Hallelujah.